Hello, so this is just going to be another quick corona video where we discuss sort of possible methods of infection as in what plate things you could touch other than you know people sneezing and coughing near you what things could you touch that you'd then have to wash your hands or wash these sort of surfaces before um, you know it's safe because um, I think there's actually a massive list the more you think about it the more you think of so obviously the obvious things are things like door handles um, obviously if you need to open a door handle or use your keys to open a door if they've been touched and been infected then you need to actually disinfect your hands and those things uh, another possible thing of course going on the subject of stuff like that is mobile phones a lot of people have said this in the comments and they're totally right we use our mobile phones a lot per day you know you're speaking into them holding them up to your head so I imagine mobile phones are like a breeding ground of bacteria so mobile phones definitely need to be sanitized if you're using public transport then although the seats apparently you know if it's like a cloth type material um, the bacteria, uh, well it's not bacteria, it's a virus, but you know the virus doesn't live that long on those apparently you know um, obviously if it's a hard plastic seat or um, like something like a hard leather seat then um, the back virus could, I won't keep on saying bacteria, but the virus could live quite a long time on there so obviously seats on public transport could potentially be bad handrails on public transport, so on buses and trains, you know if you hold on to something to steady yourself again other people could have touched that that have been infected Another important point people made is even if you're going shopping in a supermarket, think of just how many like canned products and things like that um, on the supermarket shelves people could have touched. Similarly in a supermarket, shopping trolleys and shopping baskets, guess, guess as well if somebody who have an infection was touching those things, if you use them afterwards, you're probably not going to think to disinfect them, I certainly wouldn't think normally. Public toilets, apparently again a bit grim, but a breeding ground for bacteria and viruses. Uh, so you have to be very careful there, especially because there seems to be evidence of faecal and urine transmission of um, COVID-19 coronavirus. So that's those. And the thing is, I think the more you think about stuff, the more, you know, more and more things you start realising. So light switches in a house, again, light switches. If somebody's touched them and they've uh, got an infection, it's going to be on the light switches. If a courier brings something to your house or the postman, you know, and they've been handling the package, if they're infected, they've probably spread it onto there. But in general, I think it just really makes you aware of just how many surfaces and things we take for granted every day where uh, you could get a virus lurking on. So again, this advice of wash your hands, wash your hands, it's good advice in the sense of washing your hands is always a good idea. But it does make you realise almost how futile in some ways it seems, even though it would massively help, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to discourage people from washing their hands. But, you know, just if somebody's saying, because I heard them on the radio earlier saying basically what you need to do is when you get to work after commuting, wash your hands, uh, before your lunch, wash your hands, and then when you get home from work, wash your hands. Well, that's only like three hand washes per day, I suppose, excluding times you've gone to the toilet and things like that. And the thing is, if you were at work, you wash your hands when you got in, but then you're touching telephones, you know, um, desks, keyboards and mice, all that sort of thing, you know, you're going to start picking stuff up again from those if people have um, touched them. So. Yeah, no wonder it's a good idea to carry sanitizer with you or rubbing alcohol spray or whatever. It doesn't help this stuff's getting sold out everywhere. Um, stupidly, although, they were saying, oh, it's a bad idea to wear surgical gloves. And to me, that sounds really sensible, because if you're wearing surgical gloves, you can just bin them um, and then wash your hands after, you know, you've used them to touch loads of surfaces. And I know, again, if you get germs or bacteria or viruses or whatever on the surgical gloves and then you're touching your face, again, that's a problem. But I'd imagine surgical gloves do make it much easier to, um, you know, do a disinfection routine. So, yeah, that was just me trying to come up with a list of all the various things. Utensils, probably, in public restaurants and things like that. I mean, I know they've been through a dishwasher recently and cleaned, but the problem is in a lot of restaurants, um, sometimes you just have a big tray, or cafes, you know, you have big trays of just forks in one bit, knives in another bit. If somebody reaches in to grab a load, you know, um, and their hands are dirty, they could probably put it on other utensils, which is a bit of a grim thing to think about. So yeah, it's one of those things, the more you think about it, the more and more you realise basically everything is filthy. I doubt it exists, but what would be <coughs> really cool, apologies, is if you had a flare type thing, and rather than seeing thermal signatures, you could just see viruses and bacteria sitting on surfaces. Well, that would be probably a bit grim, wouldn't it, if you just shone that and you saw every single thing uh, was just covered in microbes or whatever. So. There you go, I certainly think if you can still get some antimicrobial wipes, you know, hand sanitizer, rubbing alcohol spray would be good to carry on you, just so you can do a bit more of a disinfection routine before doing anything. But yeah, it does really make you think that even if you're going shopping, you know, 
all these brand new products on a shelf. If the person stocking the shelves or somebody else has picked it up to have a look at it, if they've got something on their hands, hmm. Yeah, so there you go. Um, hopefully that's just made you a bit more alert of things you might have to watch out for. The more I think about it, the more kind of depressing it seems of just it can get you from everywhere. So I don't want to sound alarmist, but, you know, it's a shame people on the news aren't even mentioning this. You know, all they're saying is, oh, you know, just, just make sure you wash your hands once you get to work, on your way back from work, and before you eat your lunch. You know, or maybe maybe wash your hands a bit more often than that, but, you know, I don't think they're accounting for nearly every subject. Not subject, sorry. Every surface you touch or something like that, you know, could potentially be the one that gets you. If you just touched, you know, a mouse that's used by several people in an office, you know, keyboard and mouse, and then just did that without thinking about it, ooh, too late. So, yeah, there you go. Now, just food for thought, I guess, or germs for thought.